tonight we think we are laying the foundations for some really exciting news about the RCP. Um, now I need him. It may support Sony cameras. Not just Blackmagic cameras, although this is what it's designed for, having the Arduino shield and all that stuff, but we may be able over Ethernet to control Sony cameras. And we are hacking away on the protocol right now. Um, we already implemented the web interface, so if you uh, come over here, you can see how easy it would be to reconfigure the unit to use Sony cameras instead. So uh, here you see the RCP web interface, and um, as you may have seen in different videos, as you click such as the encoder button here, you jump right down to configuration for this particular button and as you see it is currently set up to adjust the ATEM gain which is like the white level on um, a Blackmagic camera and um, if we were to use the Blackmagic camera control protocol that is the Arduino shield we would have selected this one but if we want to use uh, a Sony camera and adjust white levels, we select this one. So it would be simply selecting this, make sure it's the right camera, it is the, the right color we are adjusting. Um, and then the value, if you want to set the value with the button, otherwise just leave it if you're using a knob and it will uh, guide you through the value range. And uh, likewise, you could copy this function over here and uh, set it for, let's say, green and copy it over here and set it for blue and so forth. Okay, this is all just examples, but I wanted to show you how easy it would be with the web interface to do this. And uh, of course, the RCP needs to know uh, where the uh, Sony um, master box is. And uh, when you scroll down the web interface in the usual style, you'll see here all the devices that the RCP would be able to connect to and we just enable Sony RCP, type in the IP address, reboot the unit and it would do its best, its utmost to connect to your Sony camera and make CCU control for it. Isn't it cool?